What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Critical Overlord here. We're going to be talking about Scream 7 in this video here again today and I'm going to try to make this as quick as possible because I'm supposed to be watching a new horror film tonight. You'll see what I'm talking about when you check my Twitter in a few minutes. But we're going to be talking about what viewer non tweeted out and I'm going to expand upon that with some other rumored things. Now I do want to again stress this is not confirmed because it's not confirmed until it comes from Spyglass, Paramount or someone directly involved with production although the source of the information is from a reliable database that has been right in the past on things related to terrifier 3 and other horror projects such as the upcoming conjuring movie too now viewer anon put out this tweet saying that i'm pretty sure sid's daughter in scream 7 is named tatum we know we've been hearing about reports about the film being centered around sydney's family them being in jeopardy yada 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 Neff herself has also come out and confirmed that it is 100% focused on Sydney Prescott, which has gotten a lot of people excited who have been wanting to see that and who wanted that during the events of Scream 5 and 6. But the comment about it being the daughter, the daughter being named Tatum, got me thinking about something I had heard a few days, days ago. And it was also listed on a very reputable casting site. It appears to have either been privated or removed but the listing was for scream seven and it had it marked down for a character named taylor taylor is described as being over 18 to play a 17 year old that's who they were looking for white female taylor is shannon's smart kind and headstrong teenage daughter who has been in a relationship with her boyfriend brian for over a year a bit tomboyish and rebellious Taylor typically obeys her overprotective parents, strict rules, knowing they are only concerned for her safety, but is ready to prove that she can take care of herself and be treated like an adult. Now, of course, if this is correlated to Scream 7, as the report claimed to be, then Taylor could be Tatum. Shannon could be Sydney. Brian could be a whole completely different name, uh, but it's also very convenient that her boyfriend's also starting with the name of b like billy loomis and then her parents of course could be referring to the other aforementioned parent that we haven't heard about being officially back which would be played by patrick dempsey mark kincaid however again let's just keep pretending this is true it hasn't been confirmed it would align with the time jump report being done to make sydney's kids key players because this person is being described as being an 18 17 year old it backs up the fact that the story is reportedly on Sydney's family, of course, but there's always the possibility that Shannon herself is a different character, and it's possible that this is a friend to Sydney. So then that means that Taylor could be that character's daughter, and then that Taylor has her own set of parents, and this has nothing to do with Sydney. However, going off the last two films, we know the auditions and casting calls have been using temporary names, and the only thing that stayed the same were the initials. By the end of it all, Sarah for Screen 5 ended up being Sam, and I think Teresa was their name, ended up being Tara. And then even one point, Danny, during the audition for Scream 6, was referred to as David. So the most logical conclusion going off of history with the last two films would be that Shannon is probably going to be Sydney and Taylor is Tatum. But again, it's also possible that Tatum isn't their actual name, and it really is Taylor. Because we were non did say that they are pretty sure they haven't specified how they found out about this information but we know viewer has been right in the past on a lot of things when it comes to these screen films as of late if this is true i'm not even gonna lie i could see kevin williamson doing his version of screen four but tweaked because obviously we have a screen four already the version but he could be doing like the version he wanted to do before he told the weinsteins to shove it i'm gonna worry about my hit vampire drama series Season fans like myself probably would expect something like this, but Sydney's daughter could be a killer that gets away. How do you do it so it's not just like Jill? Well, for one, get rid of that amnesia idea, but most importantly, just don't reveal the daughter. Let it be her friends who believe Sydney is a problem in town. They need to deal with that problem, and we get some sort of cliffhanger ending teasing Sydney's daughter being involved and in setting up her mother. Could be a very dark and twisted note to end the film on. If not that, though, I still see Stu's sister being the killer. Leslie could intend to kill the oldest daughter, in this case, Taylor, so Sydney can know what it's like to lose a child she raised for years, like her loss with Vince in five. But she plans to keep the youngest, who was kidnapped at the start of the movie, so she can have a second shot at being a mom. You can have a male protagonist who's an accomplice, 
one of Sydney's daughter's high school friends is who that male person can be. Uh, they themselves are willing to take the fall for it all because they want to. They might idolize Mickey and his hopes of being caught, but want to be able to live out that dream of Mickey's and be the first person to be willingly caught. And also just be able to have that title that they were the ones out of all the ghost faces to kill Sidney Prescott. That is why they are doing it. That could be their deranged motive. It's simple, effective, an homage to Mickey. And it still gives you that personal touch if you go down the Leslie route, since she would be Stu's sister who has snapped finally after all these years and is upset about how the mocker name has kind of just been stained for all these years. But at this point, she's just gone off the she's gone off the deep end and you're just going to add further to that stain. It's not going to be able to get washed out now at this point, honey. So. That is what I was thinking when it came to Scream 7. I did also want to point out that this report showed that they are, in fact, going to be... Well, I don't want to say fact because, again, it's not confirmed. The report did show that filming would start in January and it would last until March. That, again, has not been confirmed. I will stress until we get it confirmed that until it's confirmed, do expect the film to shoot in December. If we don't hear anything about the film shooting in January, the expectation should still be December because that is the last official thing that came from Nev Campbell herself about this project. But the report for Taylor did showcase January through March 2025 filming dates. Now, as far as a release, I could see the film dropping in October of that year. But isn't Saw supposed to come out that year? I think Saw supposed to be September. Yeah, you could get a screen film October 2025, depending on what else is coming out that year. 2025 seems like a very crowded year. At best, I could see them possibly dropping it in December, a few days before the upcoming Avatar movie, but we'll see. Before I get out of here, shout out to UK for sending this my way, but it would appear we got the latest production weekly update this week, and it does include Scream 7. And an interesting thing about it is it has Paramount Plus listed, so... If you guys want to start speculating about the film going to Paramount Plus, that's fine. I would also stress that this does not guarantee that. Nine out of 10, this is not going to Paramount Plus. And the reason I say that is because for the longest time, there was this rumor about Freaky Friday 2 being shared with me going to Disney Plus. That's going to theaters. I don't see Scream 7 going directly to Paramount Plus, but the listing does also show January 2025 now in production weekly has been very reliable in the past as well, although itself is third party and collecting the information from other sources. So let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notification, and you never miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts. I am on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.